and welcome to my youtube channel i'm here with a new video and in this video i want to talk about true macro photography and uh, macro magnification ratio one-to-one -one ratio to real life what does it actually mean how you can measure it how do you know if you have achieved that magnification how do you know if your photo is a close-up or it's a macro or maybe it's a micro well if it's a micro you will know now magnification when it comes to macro photography that ratio of one to one means that the size of the object is the same as it would be compared to your sensor size in real life. So every camera has a sensor. Um, we have the different sizes, but I will be talking mostly about the APS-C sensor because that's the one that I use with full frame it will be slightly different and with uh, uh, micro four thirds and the other ones is different so just um, you look up your camera sensor size and use that in order to calculate your magnification now I know that for the APS-C sensor the width of the sensor is 22.3 and I think it was 14.9 um, I'm talking in millimeters by the way I have not done that in inches I always found it a lot simpler to do it in millimeters uh, in inches it will be different of course so let's say that you have one coin you gotta imagine that coin as if it's just right on top of your sensor like in real life like you don't need to do it in real life that's why i'm just showing it with this image here um don't actually put a coin on your sensor that's not a good idea your sensor should be kept clean the whole time so but just imagine the coin uh sitting on top of your sensor and the way that it looks in real life exactly how it looks in real life that's how it should be represented in your photo in your frame it should look the exact same way in order for you to achieve through one-to-one -one magnification ratio now if the coin looks smaller on your frame uh, then you haven't achieved that magnification if the coin looks bigger on your frame then you have achieved more than one-to-one -one real life size through macro magnification and um now uh, obviously as i said you can't exactly do that so you can't exactly just put a coin on top of your sensor that's not very wise or safe so you don't even need to do that what you can do is knowing your sensor size you just measure the coin and uh, once you measure it you know what it should look like on your sensor true macro has one-to-one -one magnification ratio that means that the subject is reproduced on the sensor at its real life size for this specific coin a final image with one-to-one -one magnification ratio looks like this you have probably seen the magnification ratio written many times um, the numbers one to one maybe five to one maybe one to five different numbers so what do they actually mean if you have a look at the number on the right this one indicates the object size in real life if you have a look at the number on the left this one indicates the reproduced size of the object onto your image now i have a photo here that i took about two years ago maybe a little bit more than two years ago this is a focus stacked image and i remember it because at the time i didn't know how to measure my uh, magnification and i wasn't sure if this photo is a macro or if it's a close-up i thought it was a macro but again i wasn't sure so i have already prepared this image and i'm going to measure it in photoshop if you're interested i have a separate video showing you exactly how you can prepare your image for accurate measurements in photoshop it's a really great way to measure your old photos we all have lots of photos that we've taken long time ago and we just really don't remember in my case that's the photo i don't remember what was my magnification at the time so if you want to know how to um, measure your magnification of already existing photos using photoshop have a look at my other video on that topic now let's use this uh, photo as an example of measuring magnification and how it's actually written when it's measured. This uh, specific coffee bean I have already measured in real life and I know it had a real life size of 11 millimeters. So now I'm going to measure it in Photoshop and again I have prepared the photo for accurate measurements. You can't just throw in a photo in Photoshop and just start measuring. It does need preparation before so this photo has been prepared. And so I am measuring it and in Photoshop the coffee bean measures to be 9 millimeters. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate this. I'm going to divide 11 by 9 and you divide the bigger number first. Now here what I get is 1.2. 
this 1.2 is going to be on the right side because 1 is smaller than 1.2 and my coffee bean on the photo is smaller than what it is in real life. 9 is smaller than 11. So on the right side, I will have the number that represents the object size in real life. Now, in this case, the magnification ratio is 1 to 1.2. Whether I'm going to write 9 to 11 or 1 to 1.2, it's exactly the same thing, but the simplified version is used when you write magnification ratio. Now, the formula, what it tells you is um, that you divide the object size by the image size, but this will vary depending on which one is the bigger number, and it will be written down in a slightly different way. This is how it's written when the object is smaller on the image than it is in real life. We have 1 to 1.2, and that means that this is a close-up. It's not a macro because it didn't reach that 1 to 1 magnification. But what happens if that same photo was cropped in a different way? Let's say I was able to get closer to my subject. And so, uh, yeah, I know I'm going to do the unthinkable and I'm going to crop out my logo. But uh, just for the purpose of uh, showing how magnification works, I'm going to do it. Now, again, we have the magnification of one to one, which is an indicator of true macro. Let's have a look if uh, my image was composed like that. I'm going to measure it again and I'm going to write in 11 millimeters because I already know that the real life size is 11 millimeters. Now let's see like that. How does the image measure? It measures out to be, I did round it up a little bit to make the calculation a bit simpler for the video, but it measures, measures up about 15 millimeters. So once again, I'm going to divide with the bigger number first. So this time is going to be 15 divided by 11 and that gives me and that gives me 1.3 to 1 ratio so remember when the bigger number is on the left in the simplified version it still stays on the left when the bigger number is on the right in the simplified version it still stays on the right now 15 to 11 is the same as 1.3 to 1. Let's think about it again. On the right side we have 1. The object looks bigger on the image so it's 1.3. So we have maintained the ratio of having the smaller real life size and slightly larger image size. So as you can see when the image gets bigger we do reverse it. We divide the image size by the object size. And in this case, the magnification is greater than 1 to 1. So if my composition was like that, that would have been a macro shot, but it wasn't. <laughs> And if you're measuring the magnification of your images and you want to know if there are close-ups or macro, um, I actually have a separate video on that topic, so you might want to check it out. But a simple thing that you can remember is when you measure the magnification ratio, if the photo is a close-up, the number on the right side is always going to be the bigger number. If it is macro, it's either going to be one to one or the number on the left side is always going to be bigger. That's an easier way to remember which one is which and to clearly separate between the two. So that is all for this video. I hope that this made it a little bit simpler for you to understand macro magnification. There was something that I struggled with at the beginning when I started doing macro photography and it was very confusing for me. So I hope that this video made it a little bit simpler for you. I hope that you found it helpful. Um, you can have a look at my other videos. I have several videos on macro photography. I have other videos on general photography. Um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on other social media accounts. They're all listed in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video and I do hope to see you next time. Bye for now.